But with TRT, and, and a lot of younger men uh, are now coming forward thinking they might have low testosterone. I mean, it's kind of all around them, whether it's TikTok or if it's YouTube or you know, anywhere on social media. I guess as, as practitioners, how, how do you ensure that uh, the testosterone is, is being appropriately, um, and maybe that's a, a bad question because it's, it's making it sound like it's inappropriate to give a young person testosterone, but uh, you know, we, we talked a little bit about this earlier in other panels. Um, how do we ensure that it's safe and, and effective for, for young people, and, and how do we determine you know, who might uh, best benefit from the testosterone. I mean, obviously, we all know there are lagging testosterone levels across the population, males and females, and in younger and younger males are ha starting to have the symptoms of low testosterone. I mean, is this something that maybe we ought to screen uh, during puberty for? Uh, because many men will uh, be overlooked and have lifelong issues if they, if they, if they have, uh, if basically, testosterone deficiency through puberty. What, what do you guys think? So here's, here's what, what Rick was talking about. Here's where the problem is getting, and you guys are seeing this in your practices now, is that more and more younger people are suffering deficiencies. And it's happening, as you know, and of course, Eric, as you know, to kids literally who are teenagers in their early 20s. And this is all due to social media. Um, they're basically, their dopaminergic signal pathways are being hijacked by YouTube, by porn by video games, I mean, all the, you know, blue light frequencies that they're constantly absorbed in and bathed in. And a lot of these kids today, I mean, again, the statistics are shocking. I tell people this all the time and people don't even believe this, but in, in 2022 and 2023, 50% of males in the United States and Canada, 50%, you guys can fact check me on this, did not have sex one time with another person, male or female. So we have this lost generation of both men and of course the women, because if they're not having sex, if the men aren't having sex, they don't have anybody to have sex with. Um, it's just, it's, it's really bizarre. And that's what we're seeing. And so their issue now is, as Rick said, the traditional medicine has not caught up to the aspect that you can treat a younger person with therapeutic testosterone. It's really becoming difficult for a physician in today's day and age to truly give the younger person the therapy that they require or ultimately desire because of the you know, legal reasons of treating someone who's so young.